Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing fine. Today on 4th July, Wondershare released another big update of Filmora. Filmora 11.4.6 It is great to see that Filmora is now constantly updating its software, listening to its user and adding new features every month now. In this update, other than bug fixes, they have released 5 features of which last two are truly great. We will go through these features one by one. Number 1 on the list is ability to select snapshot format. Now while taking a snapshot of preview window, you have ability to select either JPEG or PNG format. If you want to zoom into your snapshots, then select PNG format which is of high quality and bigger size. And if you want normal quality, then you can choose JPEG. You can also click remember my choice to make sure this option is always selected. Afterwards, you can also change this option in preferences also. Second feature on the update list is portrait mode. Now you can change your preview mode aspect ratio into portrait mode. So if you are editing YouTube shorts or portrait videos for WhatsApp or other platforms, then you can use this option for better previewing portrait aspect ratio videos. To apply this, below preview window you can click on this icon to change preview window aspect ratio. On third number we have feature called export selected range. In last update of June, Filmora added new feature called export selected clips. But with that, you couldn't export the elements, audios etc with that. So in this release, to further improve that, Filmora now added feature to export selected range. Now what you have to do is just right click on timeline and select export selected range or you can also press X on your keyboard. It will give you two markers on timeline as well as on preview window. You can move this slider to select your range and then you can simply click export to export it. Currently you can only select one range but I do hope that you will be able to select multiple ranges in future. To deselect range, simply press shift plus x or right click on timeline and click cancel selected range. On fourth number we have new sign form format by GoPro. Let's First, read out what Filmora say about it. Added new sign form intermediate export format support. Best for further editing and color grading. After exporting the video in this format, you can further edit it in other programs for better color grading and it is lossless uncompressed intermediate format. So your PC will work efficiently and take less load while editing this format. But one thing about this format which is great is now you can also export your videos in Alpha channel. People who don't know about Alpha channel, it means transparent video. For instance, if then cut large piece of it, so I have only part where name is written and if I double click on it and take chroma key and then take black color now it is transparent but it is not showing as transparent because we don't have another video for this we can add another video here we can move it a little bit where his face is showing now you can see black background color is not showing but if we delete this and then export the only part only this part into mp4 or any other format i will name it as mp4 and then if i export it then add it back and put it above this video and if I see transparency, transparency is not there. It is showing black color in background. So if we delete this and then save this original file into this new format called GoPro sign form and then go to settings and select CFHD alpha and click export and name it as alpha. It will save this video in alpha channel. If I add back this alpha video, you can see only his name is showing. Black background is not there. So, possibilities are unlimited with this. You can also create your own subscribe buttons or other transparent elements also. Overall, you can use this format if you want to further edit videos or you want to use alpha channel on videos. For sharing videos on social media, old H264 or AV1 format is still to go. On number 5, we have this big update called Beauty Filter, which I had already predicted in Filmora Facebook group. And it is truly a game changer. Filmora now released AI Beautify Filter, 
now with the help of artificial intelligence you can make your face more red and make your selfies more smooth and whiten the teeth or shrink the face etc if we go to my video delete all of the other parts and then add back original video and then go to effects and there i have to search for utility in utility you will find this beautify new option you can either apply it to whole clip or just part of the clip where your face is there you can see here effect not applying and here effect is applying to edit the setting you can double click on the effect and then you will have option to either change beauty face eye or nose options you can make it more red or just original you can you can smooth your skin or make it look like normal you can also whiten or black your footage you can also change your hairline this is short hairline and this is long hairline you can also whiten your teeth now if i there's the whiten now this is original footage now if i click whiten teeth you can see these are little bit white now if i go to face you can shrink his face or make it normal you can also shrink jaw or you can make his face narrow you can see this is the side view of the person but it is applying beautifully and you can't see if this video is edited or not you can also change his chin length change case okay huge it is fast now you can also change eyes you aren't able to see his eyes but you but you can enlarge his eyes you can see his eyes are in a little bit bigger now you can also change his nose length this nose is a little bit longer and nose is shorter so this was the number fifth feature called beautify so here was the detailed review of filmora new updates with practical examples of how they works If you like this video share it with your friends so they can also know about this Filmora update. If you want to watch more videos about Filmora then you can subscribe to my channel. So that's all for today's video. Take good care of you and goodbye.